In the following video, bone reconstruction was performed by lateral augmentation approach using bond appetite bone graft cement. As you can see in the CT scan that the bone is very narrow and at this stage it was impossible to place an implant. Even a narrow one, it was impossible. Therefore, we need to augment. So first, we start with our vertical incision. As you can see, they are in a distance from the grafted site and we do them uh, with curves. We reflect a full thickness flap. And here you can see the anterior nasal spine and the depression of the bone that we have. When we release the flap, it should be minimal. The flap should be with a moderate tension, not tension free as we used to when we work with granules. Because we want that the flap will be stable above the graft because we don't use a membrane and it's directly on the graft. So we need to have it with a moderate tension. Here we uh, activate the bone appetite cement within its smart syringe. And there are only three simple steps that are required. Place, press and close. Place the material into the graft and site. Press it firmly with a dry gauze for three seconds and close the flap. So here we eject the material into the site, press firmly for three seconds, not more than this, with a dry gauze. Now, if you want, we can shape a little bit, not too much, just to place it in place. Press it again for three seconds and close the flap. The flap should be closed directly above the graft, again with a moderate tension. If we will not have a primary closure, which means that if we have one or two millimeter exposure, this is not an issue, but don't leave it uh, more exposed than this, because if it will be more, you might lose volume. Simple sutures are enough, and of course, the flap is very stable because we didn't release it too much as we used to do with granules and membranes. During the healing period, the patient wore a partial denture, removable one, but we relieve and we, we relieve the denture and we remove all the buccal flange. Here are it looks after three months from the operating day. That's how it looks before and that's how it looks after. So we gain now enough bone. That's how it looks before. And here you can see the bulk of bone, vital bone that we gain due to the replacement of bone appetite into the patient's own bone. We release the flap again in order to place an implant. We have a high quality of bone and sufficient amount that now we can place almost any implant that we would choose. It's very important that when we work with cement, it should be simple as we show here. You should get out of your uh, granular state of mind and remember that cement is a different concept that must uh, be treated differently. So you must work with it simple as we show here. Place, press and close. And of course, the implant have a very good primary stability due to the quality of bone that we gain due to the bone appetite replacement into the patient on bone, and only after three months. That's all, simple as that. And that's how it looks in the radiography after implant placement.